Hi, I'm Derek Cruz and I do store planning and fixture designs for design environments. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble an end okay. cap. Here are the pieces you'll need to complete your end cap. First, you'll need one two foot by four foot piece of slack grid, one U-shaped uh, hang rod, you'll need two of these, these end cap brackets. And please note that in the package or when they come to you, they'll come separately like this. They'll need to be assembled, just the end screws on. That's what you'll need to do, so keep that in mind. You'll need two tech screws, two J-clips, and one power nut assembly. The first thing you want to do is pre-drill a hole in the bot in the teardrop with a tech screw. What you'll want to do is measure down one inch from the top of the teardrop down towards the center and start your pilot hole. As you can see, I've already got my hole pre-drilled. When you get yours fresh out of the box, that hole will not be there. But you want to start down one inch and screw in to get your hole started. All right, now that we have the, pre, the hole pre-drilled in the end of the teardrop, the next thing to do is apply or to put the J-clip on the end of it. There is a little bit of play, as you can see, on the J-clip. So just go ahead and screw it in. Now that we have the J-clips in place, it's time to put on the two foot by four foot slat grid. You want to make sure it's four rungs down, so it looks just like this. And at this point right now, if the, if the slat grid is not level with the floor, you can loosen up the J-clip and drop it down, either raise it or lower it, whatever it takes, so that this is parallel with the ground. The next step in the end panel assembly is adding on the end cap bracket. What you want to do is slip that part, or slip the end panel bracket into the slat grid, and attach it to the H-rack. Okay, it's very important that you put in the end cap bracket and make sure that both of those are in place. They give the slack grid the stability it needs to merchandise off of. If you don't put those end caps in, the slack grid will swing back and forth and that's not something you want to have happen. The last piece is the U-shaped hang rod. For more assembly instructions, please check out YouTube slash Design Environments.